on site at the Low Carb USA conference and meeting different docs who understand uh, who understand the low carb life and low carb medicine. So this is Dr. Robert and uh, Ruben and Ruben. Kona. I'm sorry. Ruben. Nah, don't worry. Uh, I keep wanting to call you Robert because of Dr. your connection with Dr. Robert Sibes. Yeah. I think that's why. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Anyhow, Ruben is with the uh, College of Metabolic uh, Medicine, and uh, Jesus and I and Ruben were talking about our last video, the one on uh, aspirin, and the issue of aspirin and LP little a came came up and Ruben had a few comments about that and we thought it'd be helpful to share. Okay. After he does that, Jesus, is, Jesus and I are going to switch and Jesus is going to make a, a, a big announcement about our channel. Okay. I'm ready to hear it. Go ahead, okay. Ruben. Yeah, well, yesterday we were talking with Jesus and after the see the, 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 the aspirin video of the LP Little A, um, sorry for my for my English it is not perfect, okay? But it, it was very funny because I have been using aspirin for two years, maybe uh, when I see patients with LP little A because it has its pro-coagulant uh, properties. I read this article. I don't remember right now, but I will search it that I can share with you to put in the comments. Uh, when it explains that the, the structure of LP little a is like, it has pro-thrombotic pro properties, you know? And doing my research to, to, to look how to treat patients with, or to reduce its cardiovascular risk, I started using aspirin because it's anticoagulant properties. And at at the same time, I, I saw that uh, the, 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 the doctors self-report, actually it was last year in this conference when I talked with Dr. Seidis <laughs> and he told me that he used aspirin for, for baby aspirin, baby, do, baby dose aspirin for its LP little a uh, dose, uh, LP little a uh, patients. But what I didn't know is that it could reduce the, the, the numbers of the LP little a. Uh, I, 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 I was reading that LP little a is not modificable, so I hadn't uh, made another uh, blood work of LP little a to my patients that are using the statin, the, the, sorry, <laughs> the, the aspirin. And with this new information that Dr. Ford uh, gave me, Maybe it could. Maybe I should try to measure the LP little a, and I, I I will definitely share it with you. And if I see that that results, it will be great. And and also, it was something very interesting that LP little a is like a double shaped word because it can promote atherogenic events and and and, and uh, cardiovascular uh, events, but from the other uh, perspective, it could be a protector of cancer, uh, infectious diseases, and I don't remember the other benefits, but you need to have an anti-inflammatory lifestyle because if you have a pro-inflammatory lifestyle, uh, it's, you will have, your atherogenic risk will be much higher and maybe you have an event much younger and when I saw this I made this is not a study this is just some observation in my in, in with my patients that when I see the these uh, high levels of LP little a I always ask my ask my patients and do you get sick pretty often or and they never get sick and 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 I they all I always, I, I also ask him, ask them if they have uh, uh, relatives with cancer, and they say, no, 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 no one in my family had cancer. This is, this is just an observation. This maybe is just, uh, just casual, but, but maybe it could tell us something, and maybe we should do more research about it. Uh, and that's what I. So, 
thank you for sharing yeah. that. And uh, as Jesus and I often do, if you don't mind, I'll do a little translation. Yeah, but, okay, it will be much better, yeah. Not so much English to uh, uh, from Spanish, but clinical to non-clinical. So, okay. So Ruben mentioned that LP little a is prothrombotic, meaning it can cause clots. That's the cardiovascular problem with LP little a. He also said, um, that aspirin has an anticoagulant activity, meaning it's basically just a blood thinner. Now, when you get deeper and deeper into it, there are two types of blood thinners. One of them, can you hear that? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. One of the blood thinners uh, types is antiplatelets. That's what uh, what aspirin is. And then there's the anticoagulant, uh, which are the other anticoagulants that we talked about, uh, Plavix, uh, the vitamin K inhibitors, that sort of thing. Um, the NOAX, uh, Rivaroxaban, Xarelto, Eliquis. Now, um, the last thing he said was, there's evidence that LP little a can be protective on things like cancer. I suppose, uh, uh, assuming you're living an anti, uh, uh, anti-inflammatory lifestyle, I believe, was the term. Yeah. And so it's, for the vast majority of us, an inflammatory lifestyle is having prediabetes and not knowing it and eating carbs. Anti-inflammatory lifestyle is doing just the opposite, low-carb lifestyle for the most part, but also watching uh, a healthy lifestyle. Now, to the big thing that I wanted, uh, wanted to do, we're very, very excited uh, about uh, one of the next developments that we're going to be having in the channel. And I'm going to switch places with Jesus and All right. Do hey, Dr. Hey. My friend, no, Dr. No, Dr. Friend. Antona and Finally, I have a colleague from Mexico. A uh, colleague from Mexico. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, first of all, thank you so much for joining us today on this YouTube live. So Dr. Burr is trying to make this work and we're confident that this information is important. So, on the one side, I want to hype our aspirin video from last Saturday. If you haven't watched that, go to Dr. Burr's, Dr. Burr's channel. You'll find more on how, uh, how Dr. Burr uses aspirin to prevent cardiovascular disease, avoid clots in your arteries. Then next, the next thing is we're gonna launch a channel on Spanish. Uh, so I'm gonna switch a little bit with, with Ruben and just let you know, El Canal en Español se va a llamar Dr. Ford Ruben en Español. And para aquellos que hablan en ese idioma, van a encontrar que el Dr. Brewer, a pesar de que es muy uh, humilde, tiene muy buen español. No tiene nada que ver con, con usar inteligencia artificial para traducir su voz, ¿eh? Guiño, guiño. Pero es, eh, van a encontrar ese canal muy interesante. Entonces, si el inglés es un problema, queremos romper esa barrera. Estamos planeando un canal en portugués también. Eh, pero bueno, créeme, el, el Dr. Rubén... You born yo, with this talent. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I wish I had that your talent. Wait a minute, you just, you just broke I my phone. Maybe I have more followers. You just broke my phone, but the, the doctor, the doctor Rubén and I are in Mexico. Sí. And you can find us there. And we believe that this information from Dr. Ford Rubén in Spanish is going to be fantastic for all of you. So we're still here on the Low Carb Conference. Keep waiting for most, uh, more of these YouTube live videos. Thank you so much, my friend. And we'll nice. be happy to, nice to help you. be on uh, the next show. We're gonna be ha so. we're probably gonna have Dr. Saiba, so wait for that as well. See you later. See you. Great. Bye bye. This was so weird. Thank you so much. You're it went from one fifty to